what is going on guys it is arx guns and today i have another cool one for you and this will be the bull armory sas2 ultralight and dude this look at this thing it is just gorgeous gorgeous look at that wow it looks absolutely great um this thing is small guys and uh if you see that TLR 7A just sticking out right up the front, it is small and um, it is so nice and it holds 16 freaking rounds. This thing is just absolutely amazing. I am very excited and I cannot wait to take this out to the range. Um, yeah, this is going to be such a great gun to shoot. I'm very excited to compare this to the uh, Cicado C2 and see how this tiny gun performs for this uh, small compact 2011 pretty much like a micro um but yeah man let's just go ahead and break this down from top to bottom real quick this is just going to be a little table talk review um but this is actually a hollow sun 407k um and i did black it all out which looks great um i love doing it that way it just looks freaking good and this is actually the rms c <laughs> plate um which has the lugs in the front and the back so the hollow sun optic uh does not have like a space for the lugs in the rear so i did dremel those down and then I refinished it, and then I went ahead and uh, mounted it on, and uh, it came out absolutely great. The coat witness looks pretty good. I've not zeroed it, but if you see, this is like uh, like the coat witnessing right there is in the center. If I do pick it up just a little bit, boom, the dot starts to appear. So I think once I zero, this is going to be good, but it's, I, I think the coat witness is going to be pretty solid on this. So I'm actually very excited. It looks actually great with that dot. I was, uh, I'm was i not a big fan of the micro dot, to be totally honest with you, but after kind of messing around with this one in the house and practicing some dry fire um i think i got this down because i was about to go to an eps uh but i'm not really sure yet those eps carries i'm not too sure yet i'm gonna give this one a good try but uh yeah i'm running this hollow sun with that plate on there um this is the factory bull armory front fiber site which a co-witness with and um yeah looks really really good very bright you can catch it no problem when you're looking down the side you can see very very bright looks great um let me take this out. Let me show you guys this empty real quick. Empty, empty, empty. Um, another cool about this is this uh, bopless hammer for the Ultra Conceal, which is pretty freaking nice. That looks so freaking good. Um, another thing I do notice about these new series, man, they have the uh, ambidextrous safety. And um, for this being a conceal, like uh, like a conceal carry for the safety, it is very small. But man, you can really get a lot of thumb on it. I'm not sure if it's because the the slide is so thin but you can really get a lot of thumb on there and engage in it. it's very tactile like the way i like it both sides are uh really nice which is pretty cool really really nice man i'm really impressed i also like like that texture finish they put on it it just looks great really like it just the way that it looks um the serrations on these men are deep like very deep similar to the staccato very deep it's got some really nice cuts on the top it's got additional cuts up here um, this plate, when you take that plate off, is literally just a flat surface with the two screws for the plate. And then the two screws on this side right here, the two more holes for the screws for the mount itself. And that's pretty much it for this one. Um, very basic and simple mount toward, man, it was, it was, it was really easy. Um, but man, as you can see that barrel, man, look at all that, uh, cutting they did. Jeez, that looks awesome. Just absolutely awesome. Fantastic. But yeah, I love how they did all that with it. The, uh, the, the trigger on this is phenomenal. So it looks great. It has, this is like a, it's not like a flat trigger, but it's not super curved. It's like very lightly curved. And man, the trigger on this thing, let me show you guys. This is the, uh, that's the wall, right? And then instant. I mean, you saw that right there. Instant and short, look at this. Recent, super quick, wall, bam. I mean, what can I say about this? It also has the uh, the cut uh, palm safety too, which is pretty cool, by the way. Um, I did have to use a universal four for this one to mount it up perfectly like that, and actually mounts in through the loop and works out perfectly. Because at first I had a feeling I thought this wasn't gonna fit. Thought I was gonna need the sub for the TLR light, but uh, the TLR 7A works just perfectly fine with that universal four. Um, it comes with the. Uh, Magazine release pre-slotted, so if you want to add like a, a bigger one in there, you can. But this one's since the grip on this one's so much smaller, look at that. I can reach it. I can actually hit it without breaking grip, which is pretty cool. Um, this is a really nice thing about this one right here, that the grip's so much smaller. Um, it's still a little bit on the thicker side, but I can reach this. 
thin enough and if i get this gripped and reduced down and done it's going to be even nicer to grab so that'll be pretty cool um but yeah i really like how that looks the trigger on this is phenomenal i mean wow man i am absolutely impressed with this um it did come with two mags so this is the first mag right here it's got 16 rounds in there i'm just kind of feeling out how it goes with the weight this is the uh second mag for it that's come with two of them and then um the box that it comes with is actually very nice as well let me show you guys that real fast and that'll be um uh, this one right over here by bull armory it has a little pocket in the front for some space for it over here you know like a little bit of space right there the first pocket has for your magazine spaces right there and then the second half right over here this is where it holds the guns um a bunch of the stuff from bull armory all the little paperwork and stuff you get and the little latches to hold the gun down really nice little case yeah it is very nice they don't have, give, they give you that big box anymore they give you this and i think this is more practical to be honest with you, because I, I do like these they're pretty nice if i'm just going to take this around alone this is definitely the case i'd take it and i wouldn't take it in that big big old you know plastic case this is nice but um dude and uh i gotta show you guys this barrel work click up close uh let me uh hop in and let's get deeper okay so what i did was i just took the uh the uh, slide release side for the for the pin right there and uh, let's check inside so yeah the frame dude so dope it's so small i'm telling you i'm gonna show you guys next to this the c2 super clean inside i did uh clean it all out already so yeah there's the frame for you um inside let's let me slide out of this thing yeah i mean the guide rod is double spring which is cool man because this really helps out with uh recoil it has this buffer the second buffer right there so this is really nice um let me put this to the side Oop. shake the whole camera and everything hold up drop a piece all right so the spring is set for the front uh i can't remember the name of this thing but yeah right here right there and then uh let's get this barrel out so i can show you guys real quick look at this thing man this light is great too by the way looks good all right and then look at this barrel tiny look at this though that's awesome the machining on this thing is absolutely amazing man i'm really just impressed with bull right here this looks phenomenal all right i just had to show you how tiny this barrel is because i mean it is so small like um i mean tiny yeah imagine that grab your four fingers right yeah look at that barely it's such a small barrel it's pretty freaking amazing and the machining they did on this is just freaking just great it just looks great let me uh get this back together pieced up and i'm gonna put it next to the c2 all right guys i got this thing pieced up back together and i have um both of them right next to each other so you guys can just take a glance at this right here um man i wish you can see it in person i wish there's a way but the c2 is uh even if that mag is not in there man let's just say let's take both of these mags out right let's do that take both mags out so we'll get a magwell and magwell ultimately and this is the slim magwell on the staccato c2 but look at that right there yeah and let me uh let me stack it on top here i'm already messing up this uh white background i use dumb choice but slide it back to back Bobtail, bobtail. Look at that, guys. 16 rounds. Slightly smaller. Smaller front. Yeah, that thing is absolutely amazing. Both of these guns are absolutely amazing. I haven't shot this one yet, but it just feels so amazing, I should say. But, yeah, super excited, man. Stay tuned. I'm going to take this out shooting. I'm going to have a full review. And, um, yeah, man, stay safe out there.